Hi there. Um, first YouTube uh, for the year, uh, 2016, and I hope everyone had a, a good break and Christmas and New Year period and now back into the full swing. As you'd be aware, we're in preparation and heading towards our work value case and hopefully we'll achieve a good outcome of that. That case is to be heard from the 14th of March through to the 28th of March. Uh, there's a total of uh, 40 witnesses, 24 for the union and 16 for Ambulance Victoria. You would be aware that Ambulance Victoria has provided their submissions and witness statements to the union on the 12th of February. We've um, circulated those and I believe Ambulance Victoria put them up on their intranet. We do encourage every one of you to have a look at their uh, witness statements and submission. Uh, it's quite interesting reading quite disappointing that your employer is not offering you any further increases for um, what we would say is the value of the work and the value of the changes since the start of 2005 and in fact not only did they not offer anything they appear to offer some sort of deduction process on previous wage increases that have been provided to you and also they use an example of deducting the next wage increase which is 3% forthcoming on the 1st of July 2016. But to cap it all off, um, we receive a letter today, the 23rd of February, from AV's lawyers, quite an aggressive, hostile letter, um, asking and seeking that the union basically drops half of its case, uh, which we have no intention of doing. Uh, they uh, want to narrow down the field of witnesses. Um, yes, there might be some sense in that, but um, Really, it comes down to how much cross-examination of each witness by either side um, will take up the time in the case. Uh, our preference is to run the case as is, and also um, if it means that it goes over time, then there'll have to be some further scheduling of the matter. We'd rather run it and get an outcome than to narrow down um, the list of our witnesses with the evidence that they'll be leading. Uh, but disappointingly, Ambulance Victoria again um, have indicated in the letter today that they want us to withdraw some of our evidence and some of our witness statements or not have some of those witnesses cross-examined or um, examined in chief and uh, at this stage um, we're not prepared to do that. So we do encourage uh, you to go out there and talk to your managers about why they wouldn't be proposing an increase uh, and why they are proposing some sort of deduction process even if the Fair Work Commission were to award you an increase. Um, what I mean by that is, uh, let's just say for example in their, out of their submission, if the Commission were to be, uh, award you a 5% increase, um, then the next 3% increase on the 1st of July should be deducted against it. We find it quite offensive. Uh, and I think you should be disappointed with your employer. The union has until the 7th of March to put our response witness statements uh, back to AV's um, uh, evidence that they've provided to us. And then, as I say, the hearing starts on the 14th of March. We'll keep you updated. Uh, if you need any further information, don't hesitate to contact your local delegates or contact the union office directly. And as I say, we'll give it our best, op best um, opportunity to try and get a good outcome of this case. Thank you.